everybody. I'm Ken from K Flan the Rail Fan. We are at the Hershey RV Show 2023, the largest RV show pretty much in the country. So I just put together a little compilation of some of our favorite types of videos or uh, RVs that we liked. Most of them are going to be Grand Designs, Reflections, Solitudes, but a couple of other ones in there. But just to show you what 2023 has to, to bring. But if you can, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, hit that notification bell down there in the corner to let you know when I put out some new content. But enjoy some of the trailers for this year and happy camping and I'll see you down the line. So this is a Reflection 2023 320MKS. We've never really seen this floor plan before. Mud will show it to you. Everything's reversed when you come in here. So the kitchen is to the rear with a residential Ferion refrigerator. And there's your TV with an electric fireplace down below. You have these new Max Air fans and most of them that we've, we've checked out. And this one comes with a desk. And check out that big island. All oh, that storage. So a lot of things that we're noticing that Reflection is doing now are Grand Designs doing with the Reflections. They're putting a little half pinch in and that ottoman can pull out as well and be used as an ottoman. Got your theater seats and you have a small trifold couch right there to pull onto a bed. The bathrooms that they're starting to do for the 2023s are really nice. You get a little fan. Most of them all have these seats now inside their showers. Porcelain commode. bed. This is an east and west bed. It's on a slide out. And behind it here is your drawers. TV backer. Look at the size of this closet though. It's a pretty big closet. With washer and dryer hook up in there. And this is a look back. So you just came to the, just... We wanted to see the new trading, uh, changing lanes on. Uh, yeah, very So I didn't show you the outside too much. No, it's just like they're not yeah. steep going up. There's two awnings, the one for the front, one over the slide. And then there's an outdoor kitchen with a refrigerator and an outdoor TV. That's your Furion rear view camera on the back. Really can't get around to the other side too much. There's your other slide. And everything up underneath there. Last part of this is the storage up in the front. Full pass through. And your wet bays over there, but can't get to it up the middle. Yeah. And more storage up in the front also where you can put a generator. So we're looking at the Solitude 
391DL R. first another bedroom east and west we actually like the solitudes and the reflections the solitude is the bigger one it sits right underneath the momentums the big closet and the one next to it and you can do your washer and dryer hook up in there <coughs> TV. Both sides have a residential plug and their USB. The thing that's nice about the solitudes is they have these little wooden benches. Nice skylight too. Porcelain commode. Back. It has a bunkhouse. But there's your televator TV with electric fireplace on the bottom. That's a nice oven. Nice big microwave on the top. You have your residential refrigerator. Nice big pantry space. bar, taco bar, whatever you want to use. Here's another bedroom. In the back here, this has got a queen. It says two bedrooms. So again, never seen this floor plan before. There's some more storage in the TV. And here's what makes it interesting. There is a rear bathroom. The rear exit. So, this is an interesting floor plan. are in here and here's your web bay it's where you do your hookups with your hoses and everything flexions and sawtooths pretty much all has have this system one may be a little bit bigger than the other or a little bit more detailed here's your hot water heater and there's your underside one of those big opposable slides Pretty nice. Got another solid tube for you. I actually like this one. This is the ST376RD. I gotta show you the outside first. Look at the storage back here on this unit. Full pass through. And then back here, you've got storage on the side and then you have a more ride system to pull out.
it's on both sides so you can access everything. This has five slides. Here's your hot water heater. Here's your uh, water system. And again, you just saw that, that's a pass through on the front in there. Put all the storage on this unit. Again, that's where your propane tanks are at. This unit, there's a residential refrigerator. You got a nice little uh, wet bar here. Island. Oh, something I haven't been showing you guys in the last ones. Storage as soon as you come in. And then up top, there's all your controls. And it's back toward the bedroom. But this is what I want to show you. With all that storage underneath. Get a step up up here. Look at all the seats back here. There's your televator TV, electric heater, some storage cabinets, and three trifold couches. All the way to the back. Then you can open them all up and recline them into a bed, which is pretty neat. And you step down. No booth, just a chair and table. This one is more if you're gonna do more full timing. Weekend Warrior, it's just, at least in my opinion, but it's still nice. There's two seats for you. There's your commode. And again, there's that solitude with that nice wooden seat. And then the bedroom again, look at this. Nice big bed. Both sides have the residential plug and also have USBs. It's an east and west bed, which is what we like. There's your dresser, your other TV. And again, this little one right here. And then your hookups are underneath. Very nice, huh? How are you? So everybody, I'm going to show you this one. This is the 2023 Reflection 337 RLS Rear Living. This is our uh, favorite floor plan. It's most likely going to be the floor plan that we eventually buy. Got it uh, all the way through um, storage down here. Again, there's your propane tanks on either side and that's more storage up in front where we can also put a generator it's got opposable slides on the rear end we've looked at a few of these we've looked at uh, two 2022s there's a residential refrigerator And there's a ton of storage in here for we need to do a weekend stuff. There's the big basin sink on the island. There's your trifold. There's your uh, house hookups on the bottom. On the bottom. Your theater seats. And then again, you got your uh, half bench, and that bench actually comes out and it's going to be my ottoman and it opens up for storage as well. And those theater seats to recline. There's a little pantry right there. TV, stereo, and electric heater. Got your little wet bar there. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. You're good, you're good. The bathroom just right for weekend camping.
And again, that little seat right there. I love what reflections these grand designs have. See my mug? And again, east and west bed. Now, on this one, the uh, only the one side has the residential plugs and the USB plugs, and on the other side only has the residentials. Whereas you saw most of the solitudes, depending on where I put this on the video, storage underneath the bed. Again, here's your big closet. We'll flip around, and there's your uh, washer and dryer hookups if you uh, decide to put one in there. And your dresses and drawers. And then my wife's legs. You got the look. So everybody, let's check out this momentum. It's in a red, white, and blue paint scheme. This is the momentum 399th. <clears throat> Not a pass through. Residential refrigerator. There's a microwave. Now this unit, the one I wanted to show you is it's got two bout uh, patios. One off the side and one off the rear. Now Momentum is Grand Design's trailer that they use for people that want to toy, uh, haul toys, motorcycles, anything like that. They're called toy haulers. So this would be off the back and this would actually also go down as your ramp to get your, your toy in. And these chairs would actually raise up on those tracks so you can get your piece in there. There's a washer and dryer hookup. There's a little bathroom back here in the back. Get your TV and a little extra here. So it's a walk-through bathroom. And there's your bedroom. This is a uh, north-south, so it just goes with the length of the, the trailer itself. It's not on a slide. But I just wanted to show this one because I had those two patios on the back. Remember, Grand Design's Momentum Series is their largest series and it's considered the toy haulers. It hauls the toys. Beauty of seating. We get a better look with everything here since everybody's out. And there's a bunk up on the top. There's a ladder you can hook up to get up under the bunk. Pretty nice, huh? So this is the Solitude 310 GK. As far as this tell to concern, this is our favorite floor plan. Checks off all the boxes, propane, full through basement, opposable slides. Um, the thing I like about this one that I've seen on the other one that brought me right to it is the paint scheme. It's uh, the dark night color paint scheme, which is really nice. Got a camera mount back there. Three ten GK. So it's a rear living. It's a trifold. Well, and there's your uh, seat with the. Uh, a few of the chairs, it doesn't have the bench like the other ones have. Look at all the windows though. There's your plugs and the USB. 
TV and your electrical heater. Then come over here, there's some more storage. Your stove, your microwaves. And have your full ion. A lot of storage underneath. Residential refrigerator with the freezer on the bottom. And there's your pantry. If you notice, most of the bathrooms are pretty much as soon as you go up into the uh, the stairs. Sorry guys, I had to stop the video there because uh, there were people in the, the room and I didn't want to film them. So like the other ones, there's your residential and your USB. And on the other side, there's your residential and your USB. But like the other big solitudes, you have your big closet off to the right here with your hookups. And then your big closet for your wife or your girlfriend's clothes. And you might get that one little corner down there, guys. But that's the uh, solid Grand Design 2023 Solitude 310GK. So we're looking at the Redwood 42FL. This is full through. How are you? How are you? Too bad. Any questions? Can I help answer anything? Just looking it over, I've never seen a Redwood before. They're absolutely awesome. And putting, uh, just doing a video on it so I can remember it. 2023? Yes, sir. This is a new floor plan. Yeah, we saw that. My wife's in there right now. You guys got it, guys? Awesome. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what manufacturer does it, but they do. There's only really like five other add-on options you can add to. Nice. So you, you have your washer, dryer, your soil prep. Somebody's coughing. <laughs> Look at this storage back here. Um, As the gentleman said, this is a new floor plan for them. Here's your uh, front living. Look at how fancy this is. This is on the front of the nose of the thing. Now I'm six foot and I still have some, uh, I probably still have about a foot and a half or at least a half foot before I hit my head. And it's a step down kitchen. Look how fancy this is. There's your residential fridge. And it said, there it is. It has a dishwasher. Step up into the bed. So it looks like you have to pull the bed in a little bit to get your slides all the way in. Got USB ports over here and over there and then your residential. Look at all this storage just for the main master. And then here's the bathroom. Look at this.
Here's your Big Max Air. Look at this. There's your commode. Fancy. So this is the Nexus Super C International Cab. Which one did he say this was? Okay. Thirty-two. Thirty-two TSC. It's a diesel motor. Got an ounce in transmission. You can pull it to ten thousand pounds. There's your bunk on the top, and there's your international on the front. Let's pull out uh, traxle bed. There are two seat belts in there. There's seat belts here as well on your uh, bunk. Not a residential uh, refrigerator, but it'll work. Now this is what the guy pointed out to us, the sales rep. So the bathroom is pretty much opened up to the bed. Take this and slam it up in there. And everything closes up. So your uh, bathroom and your shower are split. There's another TV. And there's your bunk. I don't see any plugs anywhere in here. So it's a smaller Super C, it's pretty nice. Got the Nexus Triumph up in the front. And then there's your uh, hookups. Or your buttons, your controls. TV on the outside, all your storage. Look better in your driveway than your So this is the Jayco Pinnacle. It's their top of the line. They got a big pass through bay here. And then Lisa also pointed out too, there's a water jug there you can hook right up to so you can drink the water right out of there. This is the 36 FBTS, fifth wheel, 2023. So we're just gonna start up in the back. So here's the big back bathroom. Almost like the Solitudes has the wooden back. Lots of room for your bathroom. And then here's your wardrobe. Dual vanity. Full size bed. Now we did look. There's uh, your residential there. And your residential down there in the back corner. TV in here with that, and there is storage underneath that bed. <clears throat> so we like this too. There's a little half bath down the bottom, so you don't have to go all the way through or bother anybody if you have guests. So they don't have to go all the way through your bedroom to get to the main side. Residential Whirlpool refrigerator. Big microwave, yeah, nice big oven, nice big counter space. And then we have an Allen sink. Yeah, I like the bedroom. Do we have, nope, we don't. We got an electronic heater with a televator TV on the top. Trifold bed. This is actually a pretty nice unit. USB ports and residential on the side there. Residential over there. Theater seating. And it has a two-person uh, 
side table right there with storage and a, I'll, I'll call that a, uh, a sofa style table like you'd have at your house right on the back side. And it's got a cutting board right here. TV on the outside. Now we just found out that this is a Jayco's uh, patented J pork. Uh, you can stick a uh, thing in there so you can have a grill with your hookups on the back side here. This one has uh, slide guards on it. Opposable slides. Your hot water heater and your furnace. And then there's your wet bay with the other side of the uh, slide through. And like the other ones, there's a spot for a generator up on the front. Nah, just looking it over to kind of remember it. Again, that's a 36 FBTS. These are the new Ember series trailers. They are made for rugged condition riding. Uh, they're built tough. The suspensions are tough, so your batteries go. two gas tanks right here too I'm just showing you their one model but there's one up in the back that actually has a hammock in it there's your through and through you have European style clamshell windows which can go up and down and the inside there's a screen that you can put down if you have it all the way open so uh, nothing can get through this is a through and through pantry so, they got stuff on the other side over there too. And I picked this one because I like to do the dual axles. So this is the 2023 Overland 201 FBQ. Everything on this unit is made for pretty much the outdoors. Look at those rugged tires, good years, and the suspension on there. <clears throat> and so here's the, the entry. Got your standard camper refrigerator. A really nice shower. There's your Cooper. You have your trifold right there. And here's your little cooking area. It's a two burner stove. And you have a microwave up on the top. Your little pantry, which has fold down shelves, TV, and then here's your that through and through pantry. There's your bed, and this is known as a stargazer window. It's made more for the night. The salesman said, "Why would you have a?" Uh, sunroof you should be out during the day not using your trailer during the day and this is what he showed us here you can go all the way through pull your net all the way down and then there's clamps when you want to bring that window in you can clamp everything down
so I wanted to show you guys this one. The woodwork on the inside is really nice. This is a beacon. Through and through, through closet or uh, basement. A couple of slides. This is the 2022 Beacon 41 FLB, fifth wheel. The woodwork is absolutely amazing in here. Look at this. You got a half bath in here. You got a washer and dryer in here. Look at that stove and that microwave. Residential. Refrigerator. Look at this. Got a two person table over here. It's a front living. So you got the two tri fold couches right there. Your entertainment unit with an electric heater up front. Look at all this detail. And there's your uh, theater seating. Has USB outlets with uh, your um, residential plug-in. The bedroom is up here in the back. There's your outlets right there with the USB. Your closet. They just took the woodwork all the way through. Again, USB outlets in your residential. And then your main bathroom. You have a double vanity here. My mug. And this is beautiful. It's a nice rig. Very nice rig. And Van Ling is also a division of Tiffin, which is also Beacon. This is high end. Hope you enjoyed that one.